Welcome to this video where we're going to be doing journal spread on our One Wish. If you've already done the um, vision board or the dream board from last month, have a look at that and just choose one photo from there that really resonates with you or maybe it's a dream that you really like, you're really passionate about, the one that stands out above them all. I mean you don't even um, have to have had or done sorry the dream or vision board if you just have a dream or a wish um, that stands out above all others then use this one for your spread we're going to really focus on this this month um, and next month as well so this will be like a focal point um, other than obviously the vision board so if you can just think of one dream or one wish um, and use that and try and get a photo of it if you haven't already. So for my journal spread I'm going to be focusing on abundance and my one wish is particularly for financial freedom. Now obviously it might take a few steps to get there, it might happen overnight, we just don't know but um, we'll never know if we don't try so um, this is what this journal spread is about. We're going to take that one dream, that one wish and we're going to focus on that for the next couple of months. So um, for me, finances and abundance, particularly abundance and financial freedom, freedom sorry, is something that um, I've had to really deal with over a good couple of years um, because my thinking on abundance and um, just money in general has been quite negative. I've had to really challenge negative, limited, fe uh, limited feelings of uh, and, and lack um, because of the way that society we've been brought up in society basically to think that it's wrong to want to be rich it's wrong to have lots of money um but really what what is wrong is to have a love of money so that it, it takes over above everything else but to be financially free to want that is not wrong because it's 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 quite a healthy thing so long as it it's not taken over by passion and and a love of money to have financial freedom gives you the freedom to be able to do the things that you want to do. Um, so it's taken me a long, long time to get to this point and now I'm going to really start focusing in on it because I have a healthy attitude towards money. Um, I feel that I'm ready now to really embrace this as my dream and my, my big wish. So what you want to do is you want to get a um, page in your planner, um, sorry, or your journal, sorry, uh, a couple of pages like I'm doing here. Um, it's entirely up to you, you can use any medium you want, but choose the colours that really speak to you, that really resonate with you and have fun. Nobody has to see this except for yourself. Um, so what I've done here, I sprayed the pages, I wet the pages, let the, the paints move around um, and then once I dried them, um, I applied more watercolours on top, but obviously they didn't move around. Uh, so I could have really had more control over the paint and done something else. Um, but I just really wanted that movement, that flow. So I wet the pages again um, and applied some more watercolour. So here I'm obviously drying the pages. I've added a little bit of gold and um, I'm going to be adding some more depth in a moment. You'll see the stencil there at the bottom. I've used that um, to apply white acrylic paint to add another layer. And that's what I wanted my pages. I wanted my pages to have depth, to have richness, to convey that feeling of abundance and, and again richness and, and depth and you know abundant saying abundance twice <laughs> um, so yeah I just really really wanted to give that um, impression of there being just a wealth of color and texture um, so that it would really go with what I'm trying to convey with my wish so here we go um, I'm just applying the acrylic paint which I'll dry off now it didn't turn out exactly how I thought it would but I'm really, really happy um, because once it was dry and I applied more watercolour on top, it, it really looks, it really came up really, really well. I'm so, so pleased with it. So I'm just drying off just now. Okay, next. Um, what you want to do is you want to gather together um, journal cards, ephemera, anything that you want to add to your page. Um, Okay, here I'm just doing some, again, mark making is a really, really easy and good way to add, um, just to add some more depth to your, to your pages and more interest. 
um, and that's using, I think, it's like a Micron pen, it's not actually Micron, I think that one's from WH Smith's, but it's an archival ink pen, so once it gets wet it won't smudge at all. So again, I'm just drying it here. So I chose, before I did this, I actually chose a journal card for my photo. I chose, um, I actually had lying around an affirmation card, which this one here, um, which I've wanted to use for ages and it just didn't go with any of the other pages that I had. And as I painted these colours, I realised how well this affirmation goes, the card, the colours on the card go with these pages and it was like it was just a synchronicity, you know, perfect timing to use this card. Um, so yeah, just go through your stash, just have a play around with all your colours and really have fun with the page. You really need that positive energy to, to be poured out on these pages. Take your time. Um, okay, so here I thought, I was drying it and I thought, no, it needs something else. It really, it's something's missing. And I knew that I had to add a ton of gold on there. So I dipped my big fat squirrel brush in the water, picked up loads of water. And then I, picked up a load of gold and splattered it everywhere. It went everywhere, it went all over my face as well. So uh, here's the journal card and on the back of that I've put my photo of a um, house which speaks to me of that financial freedom to be able to um, afford one day to be mortgage free, to own my own home, to not have to worry about who owns it because I own it outright, um, not having to pay anyone back, and just again that finan financial freedom and to live in a place where I, I love where I live now um, but I do want to own my own home in this place um, so I'm just oh my goodness I'm adding a sticker of a key I found this sticker and I was like this has to go on the page because the key is just very 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 symbolic for me um, obviously if you've read my story um, you'll know why and then that little sticker there, it's all about having faith, um, which I need to really start cultivating more um, because I've kind of let that go by the wayside. Um, I'm just going through my sticker collection to see what else I could use. Um, I do find some absolutely gorgeous glitter washi in a moment and um, I do add that to the page. I just want to add anything gold, <laughs> things that speak of abundance. So again, here, even the date is in gold stickers. Um, okay, so next, let's see, what am I gonna do? If you just gather all everything together, ready, um, okay, I'm sticking down the um, stars now, gold stars. Yeah, so if you gather everything that you, um, that you can together for your pages, have it all in one big pile, all the things that inspire you, you don't have to use it all. Um, but all the things that make you happy, just make sure you have that one photo that speaks to you of your dream or your wish. So another aspect of this page, I just love tiny, tiny pieces of fabric stuck together. Um, that just, oh, I don't know, it just speaks, that to me speaks of abundance. And um, I don't know why it just does. And the tactileness of it on a journal page. And then I used my Dymo machine and I typed out the words, um, the word abundance and I stuck that on top of the fabrics um, I don't know I can't explain it that just to me speaks of abundance in in my creativity so this is that washi that I was speaking about earlier the gold glitter washi it's super super glittery it's absolutely gorgeous um, and now putting the title one wish in again gold letters um, I've got quite a lot of these actually, uh, these letters, but yeah, I really just wanted, um, if it was in gold, if I had it in gold, it was going on the page. And I love the pinks that, you know, all the different colours, all the, di when I actually started this page, I wanted to use different pinks um, because they're my favourite colour. So I wanted to use a variety and a different, um, different shades of pink. And then I just um, let intuition take over and I used all the other colours that just intuition told me to use. So um, what you want to do is you want to create a page or pages that you can go back to and that make you happy, that um, really, really speak to you. Now, 
at the end of this video I actually write down my affirmations um, and just like a little sort of like promise to myself uh, and like um, an intention so I wrote out my here I'm going to be writing out my intention after I've outlined these words uh, so I've wrote down my intentions my affirmations and then I will leave a little space because I want to come back to these pages I don't want to I mean you you don't have to do that you can just write out your intentions and affirmations and then that's it but I did want to leave some space so I can come back to this page should anything else come to mind um, but even now looking at these pages they're just oh, I love them so much I, I'm so so happy with how they've turned out and they really do resonate with me and they 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 sort of promote that feeling of excitement um, energy happiness you know uh, and that's what you want because it's where it, that saying where your energy where your energy goes um, oh what's that saying now I have it on my wall actually uh, my energy creates my reality I can't remember the other one now but yeah um, it's, it is about using that energy to create your reality um, so yeah here's my intention so I hope you enjoy the rest of this video if you have any questions just leave them below um, feel free to share either in the dream create journal group your pages or in the community here um, yeah I'm using a book um, by uh, Florence Scovel's Shin <laughs> such a mouthful to say and she's one of my favorite authors when it comes to affirmations and positive thinking and creating your own reality and I know quite a few um, people have through the group dream create journal group have actually picked this book up um, and it's really blessed them so I hope you enjoy the rest of the video if you do have any questions just let me know um, and then we will be moving on to the next stage in this uh, this month's theme which is our one wish thank you so much for watching take care bye <laughs>